Hey guys, it's Deputy Michael here. Today I just want to go over a few things and what you can expect from me and my YouTube channel. I'm currently in Southeast Louisiana. I've been a deputy sheriff for approximately four years. Yes, four years. Um, on January 27th, I will be attending my police academy and I'll be in the academy for full time. Some of the things I would like to go over with or accomplish with my channel is how my duty belt is set up and the gear I use on a current basis. Um, with helping others with shining their boots and getting them ready for the academy and setting. I like to bring you guys along as much as possible. So while I'm in the academy, um, from range week to EVOC to everything. So yeah, um, I made a video about my duty belt and kind of my pre-academy setup, which it should turn into it now. Like I said before, this is my duty belt. This is what I currently wear on a daily basis in my current assignment, normally I'm in. Um, what we call our class B uniforms. I am s definitely a smaller stature male. It's a little bit trickier. I gotta be a little more creative when I'm placing things on my duty belt um, to just ensure obviously the safety and the retention of my weapon. Um, currently in this setup, um, I guess you can call it my pre-academy setup. I do not have a tourniquet on it and I do have my pepper spray on it. Um, when I start the academy, my pepper spray will come off and my tourniquet will go in place of my pepper spray. Left side, I currently have two um, 17 round mags that I added Terran tactical base plates to both of them and then added six more rounds. So a total, they each carry 23. Um, all three of my magazines actually have them. So a total of uh, 69 rounds with one in the chamber of 70. Um, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. Uh, this is my K-Bar. Um, I use it, place it right here. Some people wear it the opposite side um, or for a left hand draw. I use it for my dominant hand draw um, out. Um, I might end up switching it. I haven't tried it. When I first got it, this is what I like. This is how I train with it. So I left it there. Um, it's good retention. I've never had any issues um, with it falling out or coming out. I have a belt keeper right here. Keeps the space between my mags and um, my taser. Every day when I come into work, this is the holster that it stays in. It's a Black Hawk. Um, hasn't given me any issues. Simple retention, you push this. Behind that is gonna be my baton. I have a 26 inch Peacekeeper baton. A lot of my gear you're able to customize to the Pacific Deputy. Um, they do issue some of this stuff, but other stuff that you are, you are able to go out and um, purchase with your own money as long as it stays within our department policy. And I like the whole shirt swivels all the way around. Um, when the baton is fully deployed, it's able to, you know, if I was able to uh, need it to switch to my firearm or the cuffing technique, I'm able to slide it back in there or what have you. Behind uh, my baton is going to be my stream light, LED, it's dual dual switch. I have a switch there and the one up top. Um, it's the stinger. Um, just like any other normal fast light, it does what it needs to do. 800 lumens. I've had no problems out of that. Um, normally, like if I was on going to work, this would slide a little bit more behind me and I would have my radio sitting right there. Um, behind me, my back is completely clear. I have another belt keeper that stays there um, that kind of keeps this in place or from moving around too far. Coming back around, uh, I believe this is Zach, cool, Zach Tools. It's just a belt keeper, it's nothing crazy. It's just a belt keeper, it keeps my keys on there. Um, I normally have two different key rings, it's my personal keys and then uh, my house key, stuff like that, and gun locker, and I have security key, and then just a regular Smith & Wesson key. Right here is gonna be my primary cuffs. They're currently Smith & Wesson chains. Um, I'm actually currently about to switch these, my primary out to being hinged Smith & Wesson, and then behind me, I'm gonna end up putting peerless. Um, I just like the hinge a little bit better, and then those peerless ones are the lightweight ones. I think, I don't know the model number for those, but those are great. You should check them out. I'm gonna put those in the description below. Um, this is pepper spray, OC, whatever you want to call it, devil's piss. I hate it personally. I try not to spray it unless I'm spraying it at animals or or some that the taser is not going to work or going hands-on is not going to work. Um, crowded areas, at fights, stuff like that, I'll normally use this. But um, other than that, I just it just stays in there like that. Going to my firearm, it's sitting in the Safari Land 7TS series. Um, I have it on the QLS. I have it on a mid lot, mid right um, universal belt loop. I have it on the fork. I like it because when I'm at work um, in my current assignment, 
Um, I can leave my firearm sitting in the locker and I don't have to take my firearm out of its holster. I can leave it in, lock it up, and then come and get it when I need to. Um, I currently carry a Glock 17 uh, Gen 5 MOS. Um, it is clear, nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. I don't know what else I can say. A Glock is a Glock is a Glock. Um, I love it. I have a TLR HL Streamlight on it with a strobe. It's great. I've never had any issues. I might try to switch to another weapons light, um, but I haven't really looked into them. There's an O light and there's one other else that I can't think of right this exact second. Um, I used to have a beaver tail on it, the medium grip beaver tail. Um, I guess when I first started shooting, it would help me get a more higher purchase on the gun, a more firm grip. I no longer kind of need it, but I will probably try out the talon grips on it and put the talon grips over it. If anyone ever used them before and you know have anything to add to it, um, let me know. Uh, yeah, and then I have those handcuffs behind there. It's the same thing I was up front, Smith and Weston. I have another belt keeper that sits right there to keep them, to keep it um, out of the way of impeding with my draw, which it doesn't, I get that a lot but it does not impede with my draw. I can uh, draw my firearm without any issues. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's my everyday carry. That's my duty belt. And it will be my setup going into the academy. If you have any questions, uh, tips, comments, concerns, uh, put them all in the comment description. Anything else you guys want me to, I guess, talk about or make my videos about, let me know. I'm gonna start vlogging. I'm gonna try to vlog my academy experience as well and my pre-academy experience to kind of tell you how I'm getting ready and stuff like that. From shining my boots to, you know, some of my workouts to studying um, to get, to just get, to get ready for it. Um, and then I'll, I'll try to see after I graduate if I can do like a post-academy a couple months after that or yeah, just let me know.